Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Mr. Trubisky Player Franchise. This is our next installment. We're going to be taking on the Indianapolis Colts today and their star quarterback, Andrew Luck. So, coming into the game, we're on a little bit of a hot streak, blown out the last two opponents. Um, there you can see my stats for the season. I need to cut down on those turnovers. Um, we'll see how I do today against the Colts. I uh, I believe we don't have our running back. No, I think he's playing today. I don't think he's injured yet. So we're going to start uh, after that get, getting a four there. It's second and six at our own 37-yard line. Hand off here to Spencer Ware. Tackled down at the 45-yard line. Injury timeout. Don't know who, but there's somebody's injured. They want me to go to Rashid. Oh, fuck you, Jacksonville. Seven and one. Minneapolis is one and five. Weird. Hand off here to Spencer Ware once again. Solid carry up the middle right there for a pickup of four. All right, driving back on a shotgun. We got good blocks. Just got to get somebody with separation. We're going to find Sanders, who breaks one tackle, is down at the 23 yard line. A nice catch and run by the Young, Madden-generated receiver. You can see Rasheed Sanders. The goal for this drive, I guess, is to get him his fifth touchdown of the season. They, he got 12 yards on that one catch. We're going to look for Rodgers right there over the middle. Tackled. Oh, and fucking fumbled it. Are you kidding me? Alright, so we're going to... So the booth is going to review it. Um, watch this review closely. You see the ball moving before he even hits the ground. Watch. Look, is he touching the ground? No, but the ball is moving. They're going to say he was down, though. So it's first and goal at the four. Makes no fucking sense to me. I would have swore he was down. Not he fumbled it. That You tell me in the comments below if you thought that was a fumble or if you thought... Um, he was down. There we go. Nice touch on there. But there's a fucking flag. So I'm guessing it's going to be a holding penalty on my offensive line. Holding. Offensive line. Detroit is 4-2. That was my center, Frederick Wallace. We still have Mar uh, Maurice Pouncey on our team. Uh, he's their backup center. There we go. There's Allison for the touchdown. Our offense retakes the field at our own 44-yard line. Play action here. We're going to find... Oh, damn it. I over overthrew it. A little too far. I was trying to get him in stride so he could keep running. But I just miss him on that throw. Uh, I think that was to Sanders. Cause, uh, yeah, that was to Sanders. So we are without our starting wide receiver, Martavius Bryant. He is still injured. I think he comes back next game. I think that's his first game back in a while. Um, so third and nine we're facing here at room 45. Down, we're winning 7-0. So dropping back at a shotgun. Looking for somebody to get some space. We're going to find Sanders. Oh, what a tackle down at the 39-yard line of the Colts. 2.20 left in the first quarter. We're, we're having a nice drive. As long as our guys can hold on to the fucking ball, we should be able to score it once again. They're going to be covering Brown. Rodgers might get some separation there over the middle. So I'm going to scramble up to my left. Not far enough. <laughs> I was trying to avoid getting sacked. Instead, we lose seven on that play. So, second and 17. <laughs> With 2.03 left in the first quarter. So, I might be going to a run play here with my backup running back. It is Waters not getting the sp uh, space. That block sucked. That's not his fault. Third and, four third and 14. We're going to get Waters out left. See if he can get some separation there from the defender. Now they're playing a good zone. We're going to find Sanders. 
down at the looks like the seven, 16 or 17, but there is a penalty flag. Uh, they're gonna say that's face mask on the defense. Face mask on the defense, like I was saying. Uh, we're gonna accept that. We're gonna get some free yards there. First and goal at the eight because of that penalty. So we're gonna go with our mesh switch. I really like this play. Uh, get gets you Sanders running out. Should be uncovered. Oh, we're gonna take a fucking sack. Damn it! How'd that guy come through unblocked? So second and two. <laughs> that was your second sack so far. All right, we might be going back to Allison, getting him a second touchdown. There we go. Sanders got some space. He's gonna be in the end zone for the touchdown. And we're in the second quarter. Back on offense with 5.02 left in the second first half at our own 25-yard line. Handoff here to Waters up the middle. Is he injured? Damn it. Uh, he looks like he's grabbing his ribs, but they're gonna. I'm pretty positive this is where he injures his shoulder and is going to sit out for the next four games, which really sucks. Yeah, Avery Waters injury there. Uh, that's going to bring in Denzel Steele. Who's got no speed. There we go. Brown. Damn it, Brown. Cut it to the outside. You probably could have taken that for a touchdown. You had blocks. First and 10 at the 46-yard line. That was A.B.'s first catch of the game. Um, if you guys haven't noticed, I've been going to him a lot less. Um, just so that our offense isn't reliant on only one guy. I'm trying to spread it out a lot more. Keep multiple receivers involved. Which is why we have Allison. And Sanders is doing pretty good. But even our fifth string receiver, uh, Fisher, we're just going to get rid of that one to Rodgers. For the first down, a little extra, down at the 39-yard line of the Colts. But yeah, even our backup re uh, receivers are getting uh, a lot of looks. Um, the one guy that's surprisingly not is Martavius Bryant. Um, in the games he did play, we don't go to him that much. Here's Spencer Ware with a good run up the middle. Down at the 32-yard line, somebody's hurt, probably around the line of scrimmage. I don't know for sure. He's not telling me. Here we go. We're going to do a little play action here. Try to get somebody open. Nope. Instead of letting it go, I ended up taking a sack there. So third and 10. We need to get a little bit of yards if we want to kick a field goal, but... The goal here is a first down. Dropping back on a shotgun. Rodgers wide open there. Down at the 19-yard line. First and 10 at the 19. Trubisky's going to be back out of shotgun. Looking for Rodgers once again over the middle. There he is. Getting the end zone. Nope. Tackled at the 1. So first and goal at the 1-yard line. Um... Rodgers is four catches for 78 yards already. He's having a great game. He's going to get rid of it here to Sanders, who does not come down with it. He was covered. I thought they were going to leave somebody open. Just had to take a shot. I was guessing. So second and goal. Still at the one. We're bringing in our backup running back, Denzel Steele. See if he can get power in for a touchdown here. He's got the blockers. He's in. The Steelers offense retakes the field with a minute 51 left in the first half at our own 25-yard line, up 21-14. Um, our defense is not doing a great job so far. Um, honestly, if we if they ended with 14 points, um, that that'd be fine with me, but I guarantee our defense gives up more. That's the way it's been going all season. We'll have a game. We'll have a game. We'll lose a game. Then have a game where we win. We'll win two. Then we lost the game. Then we won two. Now we're here against the Colts, um, looking to win three, not lose another game. So we'll see how this one goes. Allison with the drop there. So that's gonna bring us to a fourth and four. We're gonna punt. We get the ball back with 57 seconds left at our own 20. We got all three timeouts. We're up still up still by a touchdown. Uh, Spencer Ware, nice run out the middle. Pick up a four. Uh, 
Is anybody else surprised that Jay Gruden's a coach instead of Mike Tomlin? Anyways, third and four. Um, he's one coach that I'm surprised never got like a second shot in the NFL. Jay Gruden I'm talking about, not Mike Tomlin. Mike Tomlin's still the coach of the Steelers in real life. Jay Gruden was a coach for the Washington Redskins for about, I want to say, six seasons. He wasn't terrible. The problem with Redskins is they have a shitty uh, organization culture-wise. Um, uh, Dan Snyder, no relation, um, is not the best owner. Apparently, he's a piece of crap. Um <laughs> so, I'm not, I'm not surprised it, it didn't end up working for him there in in Washington. But since then, he's been the offensive coordinator in uh, Jacksonville, and I want to see for the Bengals. Um, and he was only in Jacksonville for one year, and they went one in fifteen. Um, that was in 2020. So then, 2021, he didn't coach, and I want to say he's not a coach anywhere right now either. Going into the 2022 season. We're down at the 20, 35 yard line, 20 seconds to go. Clock is running. We're saving that last time out. We're, we want to get closer before t- using it. Uh, Steele's going to run up the middle, down at 31, 11 seconds to go. Got to quick get a playoff before calling that timeout. So let's see what I do here. Hand off here once again to Steele. Not going to get anything, but we're going to call a timeout. He lost two yards. So third and seven, we're going to kick a field goal going into halftime. We're back in the second half after that quick halftime break. Just separating the two halves so you don't get confused. Up 24 to 14. We're going to hand off here to Denzel Steele. Denzel Steele basically fits the um, the model I, I like for running backs. Um, that's the coolest name. That's all I care about. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. If it's a computer generated player and um, you you're giving me the option of who to who to who to play, um, I'm gonna play Denzel Steele. He might not be great, as good as Avery Waters or Spencer Ware, but the name Denzel Steele just sounds good, especially when we score touchdowns. It's the same way I feel about our uh, Madden generated receivers. We got three of them, um, and then we got two real life players at wide receiver. We got Antonio Brown and Martavius Bryant. Now those guys, I'll just I like A B. Martavius Bryant's fine, um, but I like Antonio Brown. Uh, so we go to him a lot. Now when it comes to our three Madden generated players, to me. I'm going to them based off their name and how much I like the name that Madden gave them. So, like, a guy like Dwayne Allison. The last name of Allison is so unusual to me. I've mentioned this before. It's so unusual that I like it. Oh, like, I really like it. Um, you just never see it. Um, so, that's why, that's why I go to Dwayne Allison quite a bit. Now, when it comes to Rashid Sanders or... Um, Satane Fisher or whatever his fucking name is. Something fit. Are you fucking drop that shit? Are you kidding me? Third and eight after that fucking drop. But uh, our fifth guy is something Fisher. I want to say it's Steven. Oh, it's F. Oh, it's, um, I'm at Franklin Fisher. What, what the other name could it be uh, as an F other than Franklin? Or Fred. Fuck. Could have been Fred. <laughs> so we punted on that last drive. We get the ball back. At our own 26. Steele's gonna... Uh, look like he was gonna break some tackles, which he did. Uh, but then he got pushed backwards, and he doesn't have any acceleration. And his speed's ass. So... And now it's gonna overthrow it on second down. So third and 10. 2.17 left in the third quarter this so far I've, I've realized that we're not a good second half team um this game's gonna make it real obvious how true that is 
but a lot of times in the second half, if we're if we're playing with a lead, our running game sucks. So here we're punting again. So it's two straight punts. They scored a touchdown, making it a three-point game. We're now already in the fourth quarter with 526 left in the fourth quarter at our own 27-yard line after that two-yard run by Spencer Ware. So second and eight. Um, if we're playing from behind, I've noticed that I think we're better playing from behind in the second half than we are with a lead. Just because I'll make magic happen um, with Trubisky's golden arm. You know what would have been, been a great song? <laughs> but I would have got a copyright strike like every fucking time. If, if I would... Uh, there's an old... Old song from when I was like in middle school, maybe maybe it was high school, uh, but it was it was called Black and Yellow, and that's the colors of the Steelers uniforms. So if I were to just use that for our like touchdown celebration music, there's Antonio Brown not getting shit done on first down, so second and eight, four catches, thirty four yards. His his production has dropped rapidly. Um, and I think he's been talking to the coach about it too. Uh, the coach is going to have a team meeting soon, not not this game or next game, but after that, um, we're going to start doing uh, storylines for our players just to spice it up. So there's, um, and then it's I'm gonna, I'm basically making them up. It's gonna so it's gonna be like so and so is upset. He's not getting enough carries, or a so and so is upset. That um, he's not getting enough uh, receptions, or uh, so and so. These are all I've had. I've had a bunch of stuff written down for storylines. <laughs> I'm pretty excited for those, but those aren't going to start for another uh, not this game or the next game against the Seahawks. But we're going to start those. Uh, the uh, following game is when we play. Um, the Titans. And then from now on, from then on, we're going to be doing uh, what I consider fun storylines. This is going to be me adding a little excitement to it. Um, Spencer wears that, has no fucking speed. Tackled at the 11 yard line. He's a 31 year old running back. I don't know why he's still our lead running back. It makes no sense to me. That's going to bring us a two minute warning. We're at the 11 yard line. We're doing a good job putting this game away. Um, but yeah, so going forward, we're going to have basically fun stories that spice it up, give me different challenges. Maybe one week somebody's going to have a flu and I'm not going to, uh, be allowed to throw to him or stuff like that. Or like Antonio Brown's going to like send a message to my, the Mitch Trubisky's sister and Mr. Trubisky is going to be upset about that. And we won't throw to Antonio Brown He'll get, uh, for like two games. I would literally take him out and be like, he's suspended. But I can't. It doesn't give me that op- that I don't have that option as doing a player franchise. Which sucks. Because it would be way more fun to do that. And be like, the team suspended uh, Martavius Bryant for a game for missing a team meeting. Um, I want to do that so bad. Like add those stories. I just can't. I'm going to throw a goddamn interception there, and then uh, he's going to return that for a touchdown. This is where I, I wish I could take that fucking interception back. That was such a bad play by me. But this is what I'm talking about. When we have a lead, we struggle so bad. It makes no sense. Now they have a lead, and now we're going to be playing from behind. So we're behind 28-24 with a minute 34 left. I got two timeouts, plenty of time. Going to throw it here over the middle of the field to Sanders, who's going to fumble it. Are you kidding me? How the fuck do you fumble that? And our defense never gave us the ball back, so we're going to lose that one, 28-24. You could put that one on me as a quarterback for throwing that interception in the end zone. I got to cut down on those turnovers. That could be one of the future storylines. The coach wants us to cut down on turnovers. and might limit the amount of throws we have in a game. 
You never know. It sounds like fun. If that those ideas sound like a lot of fun to you, uh, get ready because we're going to start bringing those out. Um, not next game because next game is the Seahawks. We might for the Seahawks game. <laughs> Um, but then after the Seahawks, we're going to for sure do multiple stories per episode. Um, and then it's going to be my normal jibber jabber. Um, me and my, my, uh, other guys on the commentary crew, um, right now they're eating noodles and they had spaghetti for dinner. They loved it. I thought it was a little too cheesy, but it was delicious anyways. So that's going to be the end of today's episode. Uh, that interception at the end killed us. Then the fumble at the end by my receiver just ended the game. So, sucks to get another loss. It's been a shitty season so far. There's my stats for the game. I hope you guys enjoyed today. I'll see you guys next time for the Seahawks game.